and uh, yeah, I yeah I did live did. in a land of hallucination and vivid imagination. Mm. I dreamt that um, my friend, um, well, I I believe my friend gave me a computer, and I lost it, and for months afterwards, I lived it. Um, in fear of telling him that I'd lost his supercomputer and it wasn't until October October time that I realised um, after consulting him that it didn't even exist. No it didn't but also you thought Shoko had left it in the hotel the first time we went away when we went away yeah. and, and stayed at the um, the Hilton you thought Shoko had left it behind. And and she tried to prove to you over and over again that she hadn't, but you wouldn't have it. Yeah, well... Did it, yeah, it didn't ex- yeah. It didn't exist, it yeah, didn't that's exist. why. But I vividly believed that it did. Yeah, she and did. And I couldn't understand why no one believes me. You searched your briefcase, you, you emptied the, the wardrobe looking for it. Mm. That obviously was when I was um, better and able to uh, walk around. This went on for months, mm. and it, yeah, it but was you didn't only tell us about the sinkholes. Why you didn't? Yeah, I really wanted to go camping. I, you know, um, we did this regularly in the summer, um, previous years, and. And I thought that I could could not go camping because I'm out there in the um, exposed exposed land, and that I would go down a sinkhole. Oh my goodness! Yeah, but you couldn't have gone camping anyway. She couldn't walk, let alone go down a sinkhole. That's really. What do you remember about your first outing? And going out in the in the wheelchair to the park. Yeah, uh, that was pretty weird because you know we had to get a special car, a taxi mm-hmm. to um, make it possible for me, and um, a few friends and neighbours came out, and plus my home doctor, and. I took everything on board, you know, I didn't think, why is this happening to me, why me, I just accepted it from day one, and I look back now, and I think, why didn't I question this, but, you know, I woke up paralysed, I woke up half dead, um, of, of skin and bones, but I never questioned why this is happening. I, I just live from one day to the next. Mm. You, d- you didn't question it. You were totally accepting, which made it easier for us to look after you because you weren't angry. <clears throat> Some people who find themselves in that situation are angry, mm. but, but you weren't. And also when we had to um, wash you, dress you, turn you, you you tried. You always tried to help. We you, you would always try and roll over even when you couldn't. Mm. You do you remember us changing the sheet underneath you and you having to roll and then roll back again? Yeah. You you always you always tried. Yeah. A- and um yes, you never got angry at being ill. You got angry with us or frustrated with us. And, well, and I, can, one time, I can talk. No. I can communicate. My sister um, drew up, uh, well, drew images on mm. paper um, for me to point to. So, bathroom, um, you know, painkillers, hot, yeah. hot, cold. Mm. Um, yes, because I can get the words out, and that was incredibly frustrating because I just couldn't speak and people would um, predict what I was going to say. And that was awfully frustrating because I've got to that point of getting my words out and then for them to second guess 
and then to be having to start all over over and over yeah. again mm. because no it wasn't that scenario and uh that was awful that was really frustrating for you yeah i know yeah. i i know that they want to help and just want to get my message out but and i'm well, it, was such in my a, it was such a struggle for you and that it was you know purely out of luck it was to yeah to, to help but it didn't help yes and you did get frustrated quite rightly so mm. but i think we did then stop doing it yeah <laughs> so it worked 